This is the future of spacesuits. Everything about the new Boeing Blue suit is streamlined and modern, from the sporty new space boots designed with Reebok to the soft zip-on hoodie helmet. It's super light, just 20 pounds, and packed with 21st century tech. The gloves are built for touch screens, the shoulders and knees are made for movement. Each suit is custom fitted to an astronaut. But modern as it is, its job is the same as every spacesuit that's come before it. Protect a human body as it rockets away from Earth. First, there were the Mercury suits. Helen Shepard, the first American in space, wore one, and so did John Glenn when he orbited Earth. B.F. Goodrich modified Navy Mark IV high-altitude pressure suits for space travel. The aluminized nylon suits weighed 22 pounds and had as many as 27 zippers to customize the fit. Coolest of all, some of them had tiny lights attached to the fingertips in case the capsule illumination failed. How do you like that, E.T.? For the Gemini missions, astronauts wore a new suit designed not just for takeoff and re-entry. The EVA helmet has three visors. But for spacewalks as well. I feel like a million dollars. For the Apollo missions, astronauts donned variations on the A7L suit, which was made for launch and for walking and driving on the moon. The suits came with the famous fishbowl intravehicular helmets. When the space shuttle first lifted off in 1981, Astronauts again wore modified high-altitude pressure suits. That suit was soon replaced by the familiar orange pumpkin suit. These came with a parachute, a life raft, survival gear, and a 30-minute supply of oxygen. Now, we have the Boeing Blue. The suits still have to undergo more testing before astronauts board the Starliner capsule and blast off atop an Atlas rocket to the International Space Station. So get ready, Major Tom. Zip your helmet on. We're going to go for launch. We're ready to take America back into space. 